don't care about the Slardar's blink timing, then they can just safe lane the OD or Marana, whichever one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, with the final pick, they're gonna take the Invoker, Magic Man. A lineup that I, I mean, traditionally that would be one that OD just wins super hard. What do you think about the matchup of against Invoker for OD? Um, I still think that it's. I guess it's even. It just depends on the supports and what they do. On the first little initiation here, Undying. A ton of great abilities to fight around the, the pit and the first runes, Tombstone Decay. It's all good. Let's see what he decides to take. Gonna run into some people. A bit of a battle of ruin. They do have the arrow to follow this up if they want to throw it in. Doesn't connect onto anybody, but Bryant's still gonna be in trouble. First blood drawn by Bimbo as they try and get the chase further. Looks like they're gonna have another crush as is going to be RR chasing, and he does not decide to throw it out. Undying's gonna get away from that one. Base movement speed though. Yo, Jules, you can't trade with him. He is super strong. <laughs> Have to like aggressively leap and get baited into a kill that he's not gonna get. Or, you know, he gets that kill and then he trades his own life. But I don't think he ever wants to trade. Slardar Crotion trying to find it. Bryant, they actually cancel the stomp with the cold snap, but aren't gonna be able to find the kill. Sunstrike not gonna connect, and they will be able to take down that invoker, I believe. One last shot. Is he gonna die? They do sound back up, so. Slaughter is going to be able to live, and they kick down that Invoker. Yeah, that's a new Astro Imprisonment doing damage. It's actually so good for securing kills like that, because you just know he's going to die, and you can just run away and not overcommit. Great. Miracle pretty much on cooldown. Keeps on throwing out these arrows to farm. Been kind of a nice little boon to his net worth, who's... Oh, he doesn't have hurt. Leap? Uh, he miracle? does not have Leap. Oh no, he and now he's dead. stuck. He is mega dead. Oh, Sunstrike, Gonzo. That what did really he, hurts. What did he leap? I guess we didn't get a chance to see it, right? He just leapt for no reason and then got... Oh, he doesn't even have boots. He's crazy. And also managed to kill him, which I didn't think Miracle would be able to die in this lane because, you know, they don't have a, a method of catch. It's like Miracle has to make him die. Well, they're bouncing around the coconuts. Damage still being dealt. They catch the call, though. It's a little bit of trouble. They do still have a leap. It's only level one. Ben taking a lot of damage and is going to sell. Oh, nope, he's gone. Nice kill there as well. They get the sun strike oh. onto the witch doctor. Well placed from the invoker. He's got 11 sick charges. Does he go for Okay, never mind. They'll be all out. I was going to say, maybe he goes for the blind arrow. But... Oh, top lane, crush. Trying to take down this Slardar. Slowed again. They have a jump and... Well, he is probably going to go down there. PA, turn back upon him. They go for another crush. Catches on to two. Nicely played. Jules trying to find the kill, and they are going to throw out the Sun Strike. It already brought them down. So PA finds the kill on the Slardar and goes back in onto the ET. Pops the south. Stomp. It connects. Dang is hanging out, and he's just going to die to that one. P from the old potato. Out of the scale. I think a lot of the time, too, when you're waiting for like your initiator to get this this item like Blink Dagger to be able to to go for fights, it's it's tempting to try to fight, but really, if you're Maneski, you don't want to. You just want to wait and, and bide your time. Oh, Ben, diving deep yet again. We'll get the call. The Astral should secure it. Bro, that's not your base. <laughs> they don't care. Oh, they he, really don't yeah, care. he got the tower at the night, too. That was, uh, that was pretty brutal. Oh, he did buy a Ring of Health, so he's not going for the immediate Blink Dagger. He's not even going for Tranquils. I, I, he just wants all the region items, apparently. Now and now Tombstone down. They do have Soul Rip, but it is going to just be fed away immediately. And suddenly it goes from bad to worse as they do have the amp damage onto the Undying. Crush could come out, but you know what? They're just going to right-click him to death. Save that for next time. And the rotation in as well. OD is going to run into this Ogre. He throws the Fire Blast once to get out of here. Sick Dick charges. He might be able to walk away if they don't time this perfectly. They do connect on the arrow, but not the stomp. Ogre still dies. I mean, when they're out of position like that and you have vision, no reason not to go for the kill. Alara, there's like getting out to head along the top lane and try and kill off the Slardar. Well, they have the vision, right? So they yeah. want to try to abuse that. The Astral in the mid lane as the Earth Splitter goes through as well is going to be able to jump. Nice little reaction there, and dying in the low ground. Has Tombstone in one. If he can get it out, it might be good, but decided to go for it. Lose the Undying in the mid lane, but keep the PA alive. Yeah, unfortunately, Duelist doesn't seem to be uh, 
too good at counting to four. <laughs> He's missed like every single Azul Imprisonment combo. Oh, three shot by the uh, da or the OD. Yeah, that's a double damage. God. It's like impossible to see double damage in OD unless you see the icon. It's like really hard. So with dying there, it does not feel super confident in that, but the wraparound is coming. And Oak gank movement in towards mid, and Eski might be able to find something here. Things come out. The top then again caught out. Amp and gonna be brought down so close to his blink dagger. Oh man, that hurts. Uh, and now OD cold snap. Ryan's on top of him. They need to throw out something to keep him in place. The meatball has been dropped. PA is also there. He's dropping low. Sandy's a clip onto Bryant. Does Bryant is going to end up dying? This catch is it going to be there? They do find a kill with the Marana Starstorm. Zhang jumps back in. Crits onto that Sardar. Take him down. The Tombstone still dropped and doing a decent chunk, but it looks like PA is going to fall. Maybe no. Blink strike over there on top of the Witch Doctor, and he is going to be brought down, but. Nonetheless, a five white for Fire Dragoon dropping. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, that's that's a team wipe. Not uh, not exactly what you want if you're Fire Dragoon, considering your team is supposed to be the ones like controlling the tempo. You know, arcane orbs that are coming in. Probably he survives the Marana combo with the Aghanims, which is now done. Um, but yeah, finding that OD has got to be such a high priority at this oh, stage. Oh, they scan the smoke as well. Right? Freaking on point. Light Shadow, Stomp could come out now. They have been able to catch though. Onto the Slardar, dropping low for himself. The crutch, turn around, a oh. ton of damage thrown out. Ben is gone, see you later. And well, it looks like they're also gonna think about running down this Undying. They lost the Slardar. My god, that was a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. it's just gonna TP. Arrow, follow up, nice and played. Ooh. Okay, that was, uh, that was ugly. I can't, they, they, they scan that like immediately. And then they throw the spirit up there. Unfortunately, they end up trading the Slardar, but I think a three for one, you know, he'll be one. Yeah. I think eventually he just goes for pipe or maybe, maybe he needs blade mail at this point. I'm not sure. Pipe, okay, that's a dead witch doctor. See you later. He's going to be gone. Oh, he got, he got banished. Tato. Okay, fine. Blink going to jump forward and Slaughter is able to get the crush. Ben may be in some trouble himself. Sunstrike not going to end up catching him. Nicely played there. Tombstone's already down though and there is Miracle oh. in the middle of all of them doing a good bit of damage. They turn on to Miracle as well. Bandage keeping him alive. Sane's Eclipse could still come out trying to stack up as much of that it is possible and starting to bring them low. There's oh. going to be another one. Oh, Yang in some trouble as well. Triple kill for Raging Potato and now they've also got eyes on the Invoker. There's the stun. Can they get there in time though? Atos is up and online, and they do have vision on to Brian, bringing him down, making a monster kill for Miracle. Huge plays coming out for Maneski. Dude, that was such a good play by Ninja Boogie and the rest of Maneski. That Slardar got Yules, and they knew that as soon as the Yules came out, there was going to be a Sunstrike, so they all grouped up on top of the Yules targets of the Sunstrike split damage, oh. and Dinger, Axe, Ogre. None of these heroes have escapes. Yeah. So the low cooldown of Atos and the Cripple allows you to continually chase and chase and chase. And you have the Slardar too, who also is really good at like turning a, a one pick off into multiple kills because you just never have to back. Look at this range too, it's so absurd. Oh, they jump forward though, and they found Yang again. Oh, starting to bounce around the coconut in some trouble. Witch Doctor Ultimate gone again, and Ben is maybe going to drop himself chasing forward double. Four Raging Potato all over him. Sunstrike gonna come out, not gonna connect, still in trouble. He is going to go down, but that is just the Aegis. And now Miracle looking for oh, blood and takes it. A ton of damage. Still alive, the Witch Doctor there. And nice blink forward, but they found Brian again. Deafening Blast for the Disarm. It's not gonna be enough, though. I don't believe oh. they've astral again. The PA dive in tier three towers with tier is still up and online. But is going to be a very, very dead PA and another five man wipe for Minetsky. Man, that was just nasty. Kind of what their lineup is capable of doing, you know, there, there's so much in the way of chase. It's like once, you know, Fire Dragoon lose one hero. But. Actually, picked that up. Must have been Elder Titan, right? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, he is super farmed. It's nice against Tombstone. That's the, the one thing about Crimson that makes it a really good pick in this. Because the tombstone does pretty much never more than the damage, but the problem is when you have like 30 of them on you after a team fight, sometimes you can't hit the tombstone. 
Crimson Guard just gives you time. Oh god, the follow-up after the call, Astralin, and then the turnaround crush, and now Undyne gonna go down yet again. Doomstone is there, but they've already killed off the PA yeah, after this, she dove in. This game's over. Like, this is another five-man wipe. Like, they're just getting bodied at this point. God, Sage Eclipse not gonna find it. Well, the Earth Splitter, Bryant taking the long walk home. Is he really gonna be slept here? I mean, Ghost Walk doesn't really wear off for a while, but he needs to get back home. I mean, even if he gets back home, what's it gonna do? His base is going MIA. I, I think that, honestly, Maneski's draft was just so much better. Yeah. I, and that's really crazy about this region to me is that even though a lot of the time I feel like the drafts are lopsided, the, the team that has the worst draft still manages to make a game of it. And that part shocks me. Yeah. Because in the beginning, you know, Fire Dragoon were making good rotations, they were pressuring the safe lane, they killed Miracle, which I was like, there's pretty much no way they're gonna be able to kill him. But yeah. Now, well, Meepal, they missed the call. Ben is in trouble as they turned upon him, and yeah, guess what? Everybody oh on the side of Fire Dragoon is dead yet again. This is Dude, just GG. They're already <laughs> dead, man. <laughs> Raging Potato, please. Oh, triple kill for him. He's just all over him. He doesn't care at this point. And yeah, GG finally does get called. Well, um, we got 50% on the predictions. Okay. Raging Potato had to be a